Yeah, wonderful people. This is BBI Channel One, where we will tell you undiluted truth. Let me quickly um, respond to the video I saw, as reported, the commissioner of police making statement that got to do with sit at home. I want you to take a look at that video, and I'll be back to respond to that. We cannot enter anybody's house to drag them out. Don't sit at home. Come out. We cannot do it. We will be infringing on their fundamental human rights. They have freedom of choice. Ours is to make the environment conducive for those who want to come out and go about their businesses. We have a duty to protect them. Good. Perfect statement. And that is the truth. That is the truth, my people. That everyone, if you decide to stay at home, to sit at home, in protest for whatever thing you believe in please do that if you decide to lock up your shop to lock up your business not to even go to work where you are being employed eh? please do that peacefully nobody will ever drag you out including your boss that is paying you but actually no i can what I'm saying in essence is that the police or security operatives do not have any right to drag anybody out. Even the government. Because I saw recently where the governor of Enugu uh, State in the news that they are going about um, selling up shops and um, places of works that are not open on Monday that are observing sit at home. This is not a carnival, but a gentle protest by some residents of Enugu State over the weekly seat at home order issued by the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPO. With this big banner and other small ones, residents march through the major streets in the state's capital, demanding that people go about their day to day businesses in defiance of IPOP's order. Enugu is free for your businesses. We need developers in Enugu. Without free movement in Enugu, there cannot be developers coming into Enugu. We need investors. This is more like a civil servant state. Not that we don't have amenities that we can explore to bring international investors into Enugu. We have those things in place. But how many international investors can enter this state and do business when there is about 50 something days in a year being sit at home, doing nothing? We are tired of sitting at home. Fuel price has increased. School fees has increased. House rent has increased. People can no longer manage life as usual. We are saying no to it today. We are saying that we the people that we stood Biafra brutal war for 30 months. We cannot cower. We cannot hide under our beds because somebody in Finland is telling us to say no. We are here to say no to him. In another part of Enugu metropolis, Secretary to the State Government, Mr. Chidi Eberi Onya, leads a team of government officials to some major markets to seal businesses that fail to open as a result of the sit-at-home order. What I came today was to enforce what His Excellency has said, that the shops that are not open, that we will seal them as a deterrent. And if you look inside that market, you see that a lot of people came, but the few people that decided not to come, so we had an agreement here in line with the policy and the, His Excellency's declaration that those shops will be closed. That's why the Enugu Capital Territory Authority is here, and we have started that process. Next Monday, we will be back again. Enugu Capital Territory will now communicate the process of hearing and considering if those shops will be reopened. So this is in line with what we agreed at the town hall meeting, that in the Enugu, we are tired of sitting at home. Given the impact of the damage the sit-at-home order has inflicted on the state's economy, the government says it will no longer tolerate this, and with the cooperation the people have shown so far, authorities believe that normalcy will soon return to the state. He does not have any right to do that. He does not have any right, as long as it is not government office. He has the right to sack workers that did not come to work on Mondays. He has the right... When it comes to do with government offices, but when it comes to businesses, market, and the rest of them, he has no rights to force anybody to come out and trade on Monday. 
That is the truth. Everybody should know their boundary. Everybody should know their boundary. That is my position. In as much as I vehemently say no to the first full seat at home, because that is where the problem is. The one that somebody will now carry a gun to harass every other person, forcing them not to go about their normal business, is what we say, fa -fa -fa -ah, foul. That is criminal. And they should be going after those people and leave every other person in peace. Any person that wants to sit at home in whatever protest he wants to, let him go on. And if to say it is even a test to those people who claim that everybody wants Biafra today or tomorrow, it is even a test to how much our people believe in the man they say they love so much. If they say that every Monday they must be sitting on top on the internet and the can is released, let them do it voluntarily and not forcefully. Then we will know how much the Kanu is loved and that is message and how he wants to get the Biafra that he is promising our people. It is a simple thing. You cannot be um, antagonizing Nigeria of their wickedness and now turning around to do even worse. You cannot have a society where people cannot freely choose for themselves what they ought to do. You cannot coerce people to abide by your own dictates without them voluntarily, you know, being part of whatever you think. You cannot drag anybody into the new Biafra we seek. You cannot drag anybody. Let it be a test run. If truly this system of agitation is acceptable and the man in question is so much loved by our people, And not few criminals taking advantage of the whole confusion to perpetuate all manner of criminality. I appreciate the fact that the Commission of Police in Anambra State made this statement. We cannot enter anybody's house to drag them out. Don't sit at home. Come out. We cannot do it. We will be infringing on their fundamental human rights. They have freedom of choice. Ours is to make the environment conducive for those who want to come out and go about their businesses, we have a duty to protect them. But I want to also inform him, Mr. Commissioner, since you came in, we've been seeing your wonderful work, trying to break all the grounds, all the criminal hideouts, breaking them out and arresting a whole lot. We've been seeing what you're doing. Kudos to you. But I must tell you that... When you are asking people that you want them to come out and observe their distance to create an enabling environment for them to come and do their business without fear, let it begin with your own office. If you go to that office in Oka Anambra Police Command, half of the road is still blocked. Even on normal day, every day it is still blocked. It sends a wrong message. I mean, I'm not a security specialist, too, but at least you don't need psychologists to tell you that that blockage of access road, public road, that goes in, pl in front of that police headquarters in Oka, and in many police stations, both in Onitsha and surrounding everywhere, especially in the southeast, is sending a wrong message to the people that obey that drama that they, that they, that is high insecurity. And that you people are trying to protect yourself by running inside and barricading the roads. People normally use access road that we normally use when all this madness have not gotten to this height. So to dissuade the people and convince them that all is well and you are in control and in charge, you're on top of the situation, you must dismantle those barricades, those public roads that you blocked and leaving people to, you know, to suffer unnecessarily trying to assess their destination because you have blockade public road. So dismantle those ones and you can see people will start having confidence that, oh, it seems that the police and security operatives are now fully in charge that these criminals have been dismantled because it is the rise of this criminal activity that forced police commands to start blocking 
the road leading to their police station, leading to their office. If you cannot vouch that you are safe, how can you guarantee the safety of other people? That is a psychological attachment to this fight against this criminal. I think you can take this advice and start putting it, putting measure in place. Okay? You can also have a beefed up security in your um police commands and security posts or your stations without unnecessarily attaching this kind of you know euphoria that all is not well sending out the wrong message saying one thing and doing another thing okay so people are observing so i will appreciate you if you put this into consideration before the security around you without unnecessarily sending the wrong message to the people that all is not well so that is just my reaction to this video and i believe those who get this video will help me share it until the desk of the commissioner of police is one thing to do it we are do we are all this take our society a place my if you see some make you say something that is how to have a safer community and the society bye bye for now